Good morning, everyone. We are back again this morning, early this morning, for another appointment for this guy right here. Say hi, Shaden. Hi. <laughs> So we're just waiting on Cody, because we always wait on Cody. <laughs> just kidding, normally he's waiting on me. Anyway, so we're back this morning again for an appointment for him. So back um, for another kind of road trip, because as previously mentioned, the hospital is that he goes to is pretty far away from us. So we have to leave pretty early this morning to go to that appointment. It's another consult appointment, so I think we're gonna be going over some test results and talking about his upcoming surgery, going over any questions we might have, and. Um, just a consult. We originally were thinking about taking Parker with us, but he decided he wanted to go to school and we arranged childcare for the younger two because we just, it's just not a good situation having them, taking them to the hospital because it's already a really long drive and then there's just really not much for them to do and we don't, we don't really want to have to be worried about um, entertaining young toddlers while we're trying to listen to important information because you know no toddler wants to be stuck in a hospital room so we arrange child care for them so that we can just focus on Shaden and the doctor and what he's telling us we dropped Parker off at school today and so now we're just on our way over there and we'll see what they have to say today some vascular malformation there's always a chance little bits of it would be in there and we'd have recurrence but hopefully would, that would just be that and it's all done okay if it's some other mass it will just depend on what the pathology shows or is up on the fourth floor so it should just take the elevator up one more floor okay. and then you, if you're coming in the main elevator as soon as you come out there's a desk with a frog behind it Alrighty, so we just got done with the appointment and um as you can probably tell so we got some we went over some answers of the test results and everything like that and we got some kind of concerning news about now we're going on to the next step of surgery and biopsy of the mask because they said that it looked more solid from the last time that they MRI'd it and that with the blood test coming back and everything that they are now wanting to do a, di a biopsy and couldn't get like a, an official diagnosis before that. And I was gonna try and attempt to record like on our way out of the hospital, but it was just really crowded and loud and we kind of got lost for a second because it's such a big hospital. So I just decided to wait until we were back on the car, back in the car and back on the road, just to kind of like go over basically what, I don't know if you could hear very well what they were saying, but they said they couldn't really, from the imaging and everything, still couldn't get like an official diagnosis. So now we're going on to the next step of the surgery, which we have scheduled. And after we get that removed from his hip, they're gonna go ahead and do the next step of the biopsy and send that off to the pathologist and we will know more. They said that according to the images, the newest updated images, um, it is like the mass is solidifying more and more. And so they want to just take the next step of, of getting that biopsy now, get some more answers from that. The appointment went really quickly, but overall really smoothly. Um, the wait time was kind of a 
long time. We had to wait quite a bit because they were really backed up, which is pretty typical when we're talking, when you have to meet with a surgeon. They're just so busy. We were waiting for quite a bit, but the appointment itself um, went really quickly. And I was trying to think of like any questions that I might have about what the next steps are, what the surgery is all going to include, but I was just like so in my head that I couldn't like think of anything. It doesn't sound like recovery time from the surgery is going to be too long though, so that's good. They're going to call us before the surgery and give us more information, plus meeting before the actual surgery to give us any last minute information and, and answer any last minute questions we might have. But the next time that we'll, that you'll see us for an update for this will be his surgery. So I don't know what we have planned for the rest of the day. So I'm going to go ahead and do my outro. Be sure to be on the lookout for that next surgery update which is coming up in the next week they want to get it done pretty soon so that's going to be next week and then we'll see you in the next video so make sure you are liking this video subscribing so that you don't miss any updates and i will see you next time thanks guys bye